See that? These are warm. These are Hi guys, good day to you once again. We are here at the riverside. What we are doing here is actually to get some tube effects work. Many have asked me what's the secret, what's the trade secret in successful ornamental fish breeding. Well, I have to tell you now the open secret of the success of ornamental fish breeding. So, one of the things that I am doing is the kind of food that I am giving to my breeder ornamental fishes and that food is none other than the tube effects worm. So as you can see here, we are here at the side of Sukabon River here in Sambuanga City and as you can look down, there are many tube effects worm that's thriving just at the riverside and every morning I have persons to gather for me this tube effects worm but this time I'm going to do it myself I'm going to get some worm from the river so we will use this small peel and of course we have some gloves here for us to be protected from bacteria I know that this river is not clean because tubifex worm will thrive on the unclean water. So as you can see, the water is murky. With the use of these gloves, I will go down there and get this tubifex worm. Watch out! Tubifex is a live food organism that contains all the nutrients such as essential proteins, lipids, carbohydrates, vitamins, minerals, amino acids, and fatty acids. Providing appropriate live food at proper time play a major role in achieving maximum growth and survival of the young fish. This Tubifex worm just drive along the river bank at the side of the river and we are getting this every morning and gonna feed this to our breeder ornamental fishes. See that? These are warm. This are Okay.
They have been a popular food for the aquarium trade almost since its inception and they can be found in an open sewers, canals, rivers, and rice fields. Now the 90% of it is containing little stones have uh, some particles here and this is not yet the finished product I'm gonna put this in a big uh, basin and then allow the worm to group together and then we will get the worm in feeding your fish with this tube effects worm. If you will feed this directly to your fishes, then the tendency is that your fish will suffer in digestion. Your fish will suffer disease. So that is the danger if you don't know how to use this live worm in your aquarium. A disease-free healthy stock can be maintained by feeding tubiflex worm along with supplemented artificial food. So fish must be fed with live food. Feeding this uh, tubiflex worm is not that easy because if you are going to feed the tubiflex that is just newly gathered from the river, then the tendency is your fish will really die because there are some bacteria. So you have to pass through a process and this process is the treatment process. You have to let the tube effects starve for three days before you're gonna give them to your breeder fish. So if we will not put this in a bigger container, this cannot last here for a longer period of time because this will die. Because these uh, worms now are so stressed. So we have to immediately put this in a bigger container and you, we have to put some air pump in that big container. So come on, let's proceed. Then we can get now the worm out of the dirt and 
And then we will put this now in a clean container. We have the cleaner to protect the worm. You can now see from a distance here. You can now see that this is about 90% already clean. But you cannot still feed this to the fish because we what we do is we're putting a rainbow and then we gotta let this start, let this warm defecate, and then after three days we can now give safety to the ornamental fishes that we have here. This is now the game to the pet worm. This worm has starved for three days already. So we can give this now to our Japanese koi so that this koi will become strong and healthy. So this is it. This is the clean worm. This has starved for three days. This has defecated already. And they are now safe to feed. So you will just keep this once a day. So that overfeed. is about